Welcome to the Florida Courts eFiling Portal. Let's take a look at submitting a record on appeal as an agency clerk or as a county clerk. Go to the Florida Courts eFiling Portal and log into the portal. I will log in as a county clerk. And once you log into the portal, you will see under your clerk filing options tab, the various filing paths that you have access to. You want to select the submit record on appeal. This will take you to the filers side of the portal. Select the appellate court that you are submitting your appeal to. Type in the case number and do a search. This will pull up the case information from the First District Court of Appeal case maintenance system. Verify you are submitting this to the correct case and if satisfied, click on Next. Here is where you will add your documents. We're going to click on the Add. We are going to submit the received records. If it's something else, you have all of these documents that you can choose from. Also, if you frequently file received records, it will appear under your frequently filed documents list for quick access. So we will go ahead and select received records and click on browse. This is where you go to find your document, your record on appeal that you have created, saved as a PDF document, and you're now ready to submit to the First District Court of Appeal. You can submit through the portal up to 500 megabytes. Your file size cannot exceed 500 megabytes at this time. These larger files, which are over 7,000 pages, could take up to four to five minutes to upload. Select the document you're going to upload. For this example, I'm going to choose a smaller size document so we don't have to wait quite so long to upload the document. Click on Open and click on Save. This indicator will tell you when your document has fully uploaded. Wait until your document completely uploads before you add another document if you need to or before you move on to the next tab in the portal. Once it's fully uploaded, the indicator bar will disappear. It will give you the size of your document, and it will also show you under the Pages column how many pages your document is. So we just up uploaded 2,251 pages, which is 48 megabytes in size, and we're going to go ahead and send that off. Click on Next. And this will take you to the service list page. You can go ahead and choose the parties that you wish to provide a notification of submission to. This will only provide a notification of submission that lets these parties know that this record on appeal has been submitted to the First District Court of Appeal. It will not provide a PDF attachment to that notification. It is not an NEF, a notification of filing. It's a notification of submission that you have sent the record to the appropriate District Court of Appeal. So select who you wish to serve by either using the Serve All button or by individually selecting the person you wish to serve. And if there's anyone you wish to add to this list, you can do so by using your My Added Attorney Interested Party connection. Here you can add other attorneys or interested parties that are not on the service list if you wish to provide that notification to them. 
So if there's a party on or a, an attorney that is not on the electronic service recipient list that you wish to add to this notification, do so using your My Added Attorney Interested Party. And you can do this by either searching the Active Portal users, searching the Florida Bar if you know the bar number, or actually typing in the information. Once we have selected all of our service recipients, and again, it's a notification of submission, not a notification of filing, you can click on Next. That will take you to your Review and Submit page. Go ahead and check, make sure all of the information is correct, your documents added, and if you're ready to send this off, you can do so by clicking on Confirm and Submit All Now. If you would like to save this to your workbench and submit it at a later time, select Save All and Submit Later. We'll go ahead and Confirm and Submit All Now. Once you do that, notification goes out to all of those on your service list. It takes you to your Filing Received Confirmation page. I'll do a refresh. I just received notification in my email of this submission, and this is what it will look like. That the record, received records, was submitted to the First District Court of Appeal. If you would like to see or view the record, you would have to go to the EDCA once it is processed, and then you'll be able to view the record on appeal. This also shows up on your My Submissions page. This is a link to the docket sheet, case information. It'll open up the docket sheet for you from the First District Court of Appeal if you wish to see it. And this is a quick link, so if you have to submit another document, you can quickly do so by clicking on Submit, validating that case, and it takes you right to this page where you're ready to go ahead and move forward and add another document. If you had saved to submit later, it would appear on your workbench, and you would be able to click on the Resume Submission link and then send it off if you wish to hold it for a longer period of time. So that is your Submit Record on Appeal for the state agency clerks and also for the county clerks. Thank you.